Hello, Fluna Meerkat here. Welcome to another episode of Let's Pray. Um, night in the woods. Wood. It's in the wood. How's it going, Summers? How was your Halloween? Weird. Went half fast. Saw some messed up shit that I think was real. Then I had a really bad nightmare. Cool. I stayed in the night candy and watched TV. I don't know, yours sounds cooler to me than May's. Halloween episodes one. Well, I was out living a Halloween episode, okay? Wow. Yeah. Want to hear a new poem? Ah, you bet I do. Sure. Autumn winds, autumn sins, okay. Autumn times, autumn climbs. What's considered an autumn crime? Well, being a gas station and then blowing it up in November. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. So, I suppose it would be a summer crime if you did that in Dune. Mrs. Varnish this ports herself. Don't do not do not go tracking mud all over it. Okay, okay. Total stranger whose porch shelf no reason to be on. I'll leave your porch alone. <laughs> um it's the way to the church on here, because I wanna see Bruce. Right. Also I don't know what that is. That seems to be a cardboard cutout of uh, someone. Anyway. Now you're probably wondering what happened with that mask we uh, we stole, I guess, in our uh, our crimes. So I'm gonna try to find Greg because um. He would provide the answer to that. Ah, cool. Oh, hi, Miss Rosa. Oh, hello, May. Feeling better? As well as to be expected, I suppose. That's good. Did you want to talk about your grandfather? Yeah. Boston Swings was built on our backs and backs before us. It looks like it's too big to be built on our backs. And, you know, uh, it, it fell off Miss Rose's back, as you can see, but time was they didn't pay the people in real money, paid in little tokens and bl bill stamp for the company name, good at the company sto store for company goods. Back in school they showed us some of those, weird quarters and stuff, your grandfather remembered. His daddy experienced it first hand. My, my boss came into town carrying a big fancy car. No, I don't make your grandfather. A real bastard, that boss. God forgive him. Your grandfather runs out of the dance. I think he's a bit drunk, but just stupid in some way. way. He shouts, the guts of all bosses. He all of a sudden, all, he all of a sudden has a hunting knife from somewhere and he slashes the boss's tires. Huh. Wow. Big step walk. Put it through the windshield. Then he climbs up. I'm sorry, this part is a bit rude. Holy shit, don't stop. He pees through the windshield hole. This is amazing. Did they catch him? Nah, just me and a few other folks saw it. I trot over to him, and we run off down the alley. Pass the AOK drugstore. Big field bike parking lot nowadays. Stars fat and bright. I guess we're both pretty drunk. One thing led to another. Oh, okay. Wait, when was this? A very long time ago. Was he. So, what happened with the car? Got towed away. Police couldn't get no witnesses. Weren't snitches about that kind of thing. Damn right. 
So like I said, you got trouble make blood. Huh. Jeez, I never knew this. I don't think your daddy even knows. I bet not. You gonna tell him? I don't know. Yeah, sure, why not? Yes. Sometime. Maybe. I wanted to pass the story along to you. It was one night, one thing he did. A lifetime of nights and things he did. What do you want to do with that? It's part of your story now. We can't talk much more for today. I'd like to know more about him. This was crazy. I'll see you, mate. Sooner or later. Okay. Bye, Miss Rosa. Bye for now, my Borowski. That could be a pentagram, or it could just be the letter A with a circle around it. Ah, uh, the monosyllabic teens, I think. Hey, uh, kind of a weird question, but is anyone missing? What? Like, anyone you know who was out last night and didn't come back? Uh, I don't think so. What's going on? Nothing. Thought I saw something. Okay, uh... You should tell us if this is something. Just be careful, okay? Keep an eye out. And let me know if you see anything weird, okay? I mean, you're hang out together constantly. You're safer than anyone else I know. Ah! I think that might be a pentagram. I think. Possibly. I don't know if anything actually happens if we find them all. Hey, hey, church mum. Hey, hey, thin daughter. Oh, I'll make it in here someday. But come on, seriously, no one likes getting up on Sunday. I find it very enriching. Your father does too. Mostly. But he has hands and that's important. He knows it means a lot to me. Alright, well, we'll get fairly tripped. You do work for jerks. That's not what faith is like, Ken. There's more grace than condemnation. Kinda, whatever, alright, I'm out. See you later, sweetie. I, uh... Really, I do kind of... I feel like... Yeah, saying sweetie doesn't suit me. I know I don't have much to say in this episode, sorry. To be fair, I was really talkative in the last one. about it. Hey, hey. Hi again. Hey. So I had this really bad dream last night. Me too. I dreamt it was a pizza. I was afraid someone would slice me. Jeez. Yeah, that... That's... Well, I've never dreamed that. Anyway. Yep. It just makes me sad we don't have a pizza place anymore. Gotta order it from out by the highway now. Tragic. I had a dream as a goose flying south, and I had to keep up with the other gooses, or I'd get lost. That's sad. Or so they're called geese. It weren't a good dream. What are you all talking about? Big meeting coming up, city council. Yep. About? About Bruce here. Wow, oh, that's intense. We'd appreciate your prayers. This is precisely the kind of time where God shows up. Hope so. Me too. Okay, I'm fairly certain those teens don't come back. Oh, it's awesome. Yeah, it's so possum, so today's my last day. 
Oh dear, we're gonna miss you. It happened so fast. I'll just know how it is. I will. I'll come visit. Can't leave you two to fend for yourselves. Oh dear, what are we gonna do without you? You're... You're one a ghosty movie or something? Yeah, I'll let me get settled in. And we can go on an outing. And you'll see me whenever you go for groceries. That's true. I ain't gonna... I ain't going far. Not far at all. Coffee. Uh, I'm gonna leave all pickaxe because I wanna talk. I want to see Greg. War is some bullshit. You hear me, statue? I guess you were drafted. Uh, you died before you got to enjoy the statue they made of you. Scarbers. Yes, it is. But I think the statues to um just sort of I guess say thank you for their sacrifice aren't garbage. So May shouldn't really be annoyed at the statue. Also, this is taking a while to load. Um, it's possible the game has crashed. If it has, then that won't have happened. So no, it hasn't crashed. That's good. Wow. Is someone moving in? Probably someone dumb. I'm missing a piece of place. Oh, okay. I think at this point... Well... Notice that snack fountain in a minute. I think at this point you can actually climb, do some climbing stuff. It's wet again. I'm cold again. It's just rain. I, uh... Why are we, why are we, st why are we still, still standing out here? Someone asked you. Yeah, there'd be no one for me to to listen to, you know? There'd be no inane chatter for her to listen to. Okay, I know there's some way. Perhaps you have to go inside the building. I'm just going to check before I go into the snack falcon. Or I'm not, because I can't. But there is some way to do some climbing. Climbing? If that's how it's pronounced. I just don't remember how to do it. Anyway. What's up, dude? Uh, huh? Long night. Weird night. What's up? I'll tell you at band practice. Oh, okay, this is going to be band practice. I'm going to suck at this. Cool. What you up to? Alright, in this case, I guess we're not going to find out what happened with the, um, with the face mask we stole. So, if we never get to see that, then I'll tell you what it's like um, at the end of the final episode. We're gonna head head out to band practice. Yeah, let's do this. All right, I will do my best. It will suck, but I will try. Seriously, you guys can fire me from the band if you want. Hey, dude. You okay? You look tired. Oh, I was up all night. They're uh, fixing the roof door. It was super loud. Roof door? Yeah, the door at the top of the stairs. That goes out onto the roof. Now I can, like, I don't know, one from that door down in the lobby up to the roof and pee off the side of the building. Well, you can if you want. Um. Yeah, maybe not. But what's to stop random people from doing that too? Dude, it'll be fine. Sorry, I'm just tired. Fair. Where did you go? Yeah, let's do this shit. Yeah. Well, at least we'll have learned a new... A new horrible, horrible new song that... 
Yeah, no, it's fine. It's good. Yeah, I am. I am going to be terrible at this, so I'm just going to cut this out because I know I'm going to suck at this. And I'm sure you don't want. Interesting though the images are, you might not want to see me be terrible at this. Now I'm going to play this song again. If I did decide to include that, I apologize. Oh, jeez. Yeah, I know. I know. I, I am awful at this. Yeah, that was not good. That, that was not only not good. That was something you could torture some prisoners with. Phew. Look, can't Germ take over May's wall here? So fast. He just pushed a button. I am so tired. I strained my vocal cords, darling. Awesome. I'm gonna sound so husky. And anyway, I didn't even know if they're dreams or not. And this guy, who I think was a ghost, kidnapped some kid, and also I think was in my head after, while I was sleeping. Uh, anyway, yeah, I think I need to do something, because this is scary. Well, that's not what I was expecting to hear tonight. Are you okay, dude? Uh, this is probably not, actually. No. I'm kind of freaked out. It probably wasn't a ghost. Yeah, probably not. Yeah, definitely. Uh, okay, fine. I'll go figure this out myself. Oh, dude, don't be like that. You got us. Oh, dudes. Okay, fine. So, we need to maybe see if there's, like, some ghosty stuff happening around here. Like, from a source we can trust. Such as... Does the newspaper have, like, a ghost section? What? Why is that a dumb question? You know, we could go check the library for books about it. Now, they have a local paper on file going back a century. If there's some secret history of kidnapper ghosts, we'll find it there, probably. Oh, wow, I didn't know they had that. I thought it was just like a broken down old bunch of books. When's the last time you were at the library? We could actually have one we actually have one of the nicer ones around. Oh, how? Which dude who paid for it way back when? Yeah, they set up a foundation and never mind, let's go. Can we regroup after? Uh sure. Okay, we'll be back. Whoa, ghosties. That's the spirit. <laughs> Look, jobs. Where, like, when was this painted? It was like. Hey, look out the window. We're working. Things are great. Now it's like one of the graffiti mules after someone gets shot or hit by a car. This mule is really affecting you. I forgot that we live in separate realities. Mine's clearly better. Hi. Close in two hours. Okay, cool. Any idea where the microfish is? <laughs> oh, oh, I so wish libraries had something called the microfish in them. I really do. Although it would be hard to see because it's presumably really small. Uh, 
microfish. Microfish. Third floor. Okay, thanks. Up, up, up. I think it might actually be called microfilm. Slow night. Yep. Spooky here all alone. I'd be spooked. Eh. I'm always wandering around here somewhere. if there's anything to look at in what I assume is the children's section. Holy crap. What? It's Charity Bowerty. What's Charity Bowerty? How do you not know Charity Bowerty? I assume this is something from school. The school of being five freaking years old. Alright. So this is a thing you liked as a kid. Now I hate Charity Bowerty. It does look really hateable. It was like... I like this one better. You're under some curse, where a cute thing fooled you around 24-7, yelling about, like, sharing and loitering, and paying taxes. Well, that's an important, uh, skill. I was five. I'm... 20 now, I still haven't paid taxes. Charity Bowerty goes to state infrastructure budgeting meeting. Oh, I forgot the worst part, it always rhymed. Charity Bowerty. Oh no, austerity! <laughs> What's that? Reason the two bridges in and out of Salt's Town are still closed. Oh wow, you still can't, like, go to Salt's Town? You're welcome to try. Looks like someone left something open on this one. It's a... it's a resume... resume. See, I'm assuming it says resume. Resume really is spelled the same way as resume. Bob Targ. Born 1967. 50 years old. Let's see. Experienced mining, construction, well drilling. Never think about getting a job when I'm old. Fifty's not really old. I mean, you should have money then, right? Ideally. It should be, like, guaranteed. It should be guaranteed in general. You gonna join my young socialist at a box group? Okay, I'm not sure where this thing is. Ah, okay, this is just at one floor up. Going up. Well, this is... I don't know, actually, I might as well get to I can save it. Oh wow, it's dusty up here. It's old up here. Sure is. Maybe your ghost is up here. Yep, ghost. Or something. Whatever he was, he walked through a chain link fence. Or flew over it. Or something. While carrying something. Oh, right. Well, that's even more impressive. So we're gonna go find this guy. Because he took someone. He's like somehow connected to this thing I've been going through, and that's not good. That all sounded a lot more badass in my head. Well, maybe it was my voice acting that made it less impressive. It's okay, it was fine. Oh, 
Alright, this uh, seems like a good time to end the episode. I will see you next time.